welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while, and apologies, my gimbal is missing a very important piece. That's basically the way I can move around the gimbal. So I'm doing this by hand, so apologies, it's a little bit shaky and whatnot. Uh, so in front of me, the G82 2024 M4 Competition in Individual Gentian, or Enzium Blue, which I believe we've had on the channel before. I can't remember if it was the M3 or the M4. So this was built for store inventory, is now sold to a customer. Let's go over this build in particular. Again, been ordered by the GM to keep prices a little bit down below. I'm still allowed to do individual colors. Certain options are no longer on our store inventory cars. So, good thing we do have the laser lights. Again, this is the last model year for the laser lights on the M3, M4, and 4 Series. The 4 Series is going in LCI. That will be appearing for model year 25. I think production begins maybe in March 2024. It might be June or July. One of those two. But the laser lights will be gone, replaced by something else completely different. Reminiscent of what's on probably like the X5, X6, as well as the uh, new 5 Series. You can also see we have the parking assistance package. Now, driving assistance professional package is available on the competition above models, but do not order it for store inventory just because I don't think it's worthwhile. Again, that's just my point of view. All right, so moving around to the side, we have the very lovely style 825M wheels in bicolor. So it goes well against the gentian blue. We also have red M compounded brake calibers. And this one lost the tire lottery. We got the Pirelli P0s on this one. Again, the A25Ms I think are underrated. And it's my sort of preferred wheel option without stepping into the M performance realm. So you can go with the 1000Ms or the very lovely 963Ms. But taking in this gentian or enzyme blue. Unfortunately, overcast today here in Mountain View, so I can't get the effect of this color. It is really fantastic. So moving out back, we have the M4 competition badging in gloss black. Our food very aggressive diffuser, 100 millimeter exhaust tips, standard carbon fiber roof, which again is the way to go. Very few people, at least from our dealership, order it with the moon roof. I can probably count on one hand, maybe it's about five or so vehicles that have been ordered with a moonroof. Here's the side profile again on that lovely M4 comp. Right, let's make our way inside, go over pricing and options on this M4 competition. All right, so open it up. Again, not my preferred color. I think I was forced to change this one. I think I might've had like Kalami orange on this one in particular. But it's the black extended merino leather. It's fine. Um, but I think a better contrast would have been, say, Silverstone, which I've done several times on very different models of the M4. Or Ivory would have been a really good choice with Gentian Blue. Then our standard seats here that come with the M3, M4. But very well bolstered and comfortable seats. Again, my preference is for the bucket seats. You have, again, this one sort of looks like gray Alcantara, but it's really black Alcantara. All right, so the inside, your standard M steering wheel. So, very lovely. Let me move this zoom out a little bit because I can't really do it on the iPhone. Uh, my app does it better. So, standard steering wheel. Again, no carbon fiber trim. Again, that was an order from the GM to basically drop the prices, so that's saving roughly $1,000. I would prefer a carbon fiber trim. I think it's the way to go on the M3, M4. Red M1, M2 buttons for your settings for your car. Heated steering wheel, and then stitching. Very lovely touches for the steering wheel. In front of me, iDrive 8. This, again, is the M version of iDrive 8. See so the heads up display. And the rest of the curved display, let me close that message there. The rest of the curved display for the M version of iDrive 8, which is, again, a really good layout. Uh, the 
I drive 8.5, probably have to wait till model year 25 for it to appear on the M3, M4. Yep, so the trim here is the aluminum rhombocil anthracite trim. Again, I would prefer carbon fiber. I think it looks much better, but I've got to basically follow orders. So, got our gear selector with the very lovely embossed M emblem. Let's see, focus on that, as well as the stitching there. All right, so starting price of the M4 comp for 2024 is 82,200 bucks. The gentian blue is another 4,500. Leather is included. Parquet assistance package, 700 bucks. Exec package for another. Sorry, can't focus it too much. 1550. Then the shuttle line lights for another 300. Laser lights for a thousand. Basically, those are the standard options that I can do on store inventory cars now. Unfortunately, all told, MSRP of. Let's see if I can focus there. Ninety-one thousand two hundred and forty-five dollars. So again, the big price change here is, of course, with the individual paint, which I think is the way to go with M3s and M4s, making your car stand out a little bit more. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat and your standard stitching on the seat belts, M stitching, sitting for two unfortunate passengers in the rear. All right, so you have climate control zone in the back. Again, that is gone from the M2 for 2024. New room and leg room, pretty decent. But of course, the big issue is going to be headroom for your passengers in the rear. It's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable for people, uh, say, 5, 10 and above or so. Of course, it also depends on how long their torso is. All right, make our way to the back here. And pop the trunk. It's all some PDI stuff coverage here, but I think trunk space is pretty good. Of course, you can also fold down those rear seats for even more room. And power trunk is standard with the executive package, but no kick to open or kick to close. Let's make our way to the front, pop the hood. So, underneath the hood is the S58 inline six 3 liter twin turbo engine, 503 horsepower, 479 torques. And what's missing in 2024, along with the M clips on the rear calipers, is of course any sticker that indicates that you splurge for an individual paint. So, another cost savings measure by BMW. Unfortunate. So, I really enjoyed having those stickers on there. Take a step back and take in gentian or enzyme blue. And that's it, and we'll see you at the next video.